Hello friends, today we will discuss how to conduct Phillips Perron test for a series to check for stationarity. So first of all we need to know uh, why uh, we use PP test instead of uh, ADF test or as compared to ADF test. So friends I can say here we need to conduct both tests ADF test and PP test as well just to find a robust conclusion about stationarity and what are the preferences why should we use okay i have mentioned here uh, okay why to use a uh, phillips perron test i want to say um first of all it is a non parametric test adf test i used in my earlier slides uh, earlier videos that is a parametric test so here it is a non parametric test and it has no assumption about residuals it doesn't assume that errors are normal so this is one thing good about it and second thing it does hack correction heteroscedasticity and autocorrelation consistency correction to the dickey fuller test statistic the test statistic those are coming there it is just changing in such a way like it is doing these kind of correction hack correction we say uh, and the problem with what are the cons of it we can say it is good for a large sample but not for small sample because it is having asymptotic distribution assumption you say the statistics we are having that is asymptotic uh, and uh, it is very sensitive to structural breaks so in that case you need to use zivot andrews test that is not available with eviews right now so you can do this in r so okay now we uh, now we are aware why should we use pp test we need to move to how to conduct it Okay, suppose this is my series spot prices of Nifty index that is index of India and this is my series at log level I go and unit root here there are so many tests so I select Phillips Perron and at level I want to do not at first or second difference at level and I just want to, my assumption for the trend is only intercept I am having here these all things are com these assumptions are coming from literature or if you don't know you have to use each of them like at none intercept and trend and compare the results and interpret them so i say interpret uh, so intercept <laughs> then uh, what kind of selection i am putting here bartlett kernel that is most of time used so it is put as default and i just say new west correction new west correction uh, i don't want to select the legs based on my criteria let the EV select and then put ok so now the results are the null hypothesis is log spot has a unit root I mean the series we are checking for stationarity is non stationary uh, assumption is I have taken only constant bandwidth phi automatic selection the result we are concerned about is Phyllis Perron test statistic that is this 0 0.03 negative and uh, what is the probability if this probability is coming to be less than 0 0.05 we can reject the null hypothesis and say series is stationary but here we can see it is more than 0 0.05 so we cannot reject the null hypothesis and we say the series is non-stationary these are uh, critical values this is hack correction uh, um, residual variance and uh, this is the equation of uh, this uh, Phyllis Perron test so main equation results here they are only this so I say series is non stationary and suppose I want to do the same thing for first differences okay I click on first difference same series Phyllis Perron test I am having intercept all things are remaining same click OK now if I look at the p-value it is less than 0 0.05 and I can say I can conclude that series at first difference is stationary now so here we can say the series is integrated of order 1 and it is I 1 thanks friends thanks for watching keep watching